So, I've just woken up to add all of the suggestions that I asked for in the comment section yesterday to the game. We've, we've got something like 150 clans added to the game between the patrons of the comment section. So thank you everybody for sending me a house. But I feel like I now have to formally apologize to the nation of Japan for what we've done to this fucking game. So Gen Goku, right, it hasn't got the character depth of CK2. It hasn't got the economic complexity of, of EU4. It hasn't got the military command of Hearts of Iron or anything like that. But the one thing people do enjoy playing this game for is it's, it's historical setting, you know. It's it's not burdened with a load of mods that add 5G towers or consume punch or anything like that. It's just pure video game experience and it's decently balanced too. And then you people come along and by you people I mean the fucking comment section and shit like this happens. Shit like this happens. All the way from Nippon Steel to House Tribe, House Clan and Wu-Tang. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Well, thank you everybody for your suggestions. Like I said, I added about 100, I think I added about 150 in the end of, of custom houses. So if you see your custom house on this list, congratulations. Just bear in mind that you may be a sub house under House Onobaru, uh, or you might be under Instant Noodles or Mario Mario. I, we'll, we'll see We'll see what happens here, but but there, there are going to be a lot of extra houses. Obviously, in CK2, you only see the top level leech anyway. So as we break it apart and actually look through here, we'll see a lot of other stuff. One thing I did notice while I was editing the save, uh, P Clan Consume Panchi, currently at war with Panda Express. <laughs> Good. Welcome to this very historically accurate Japanese simulator. So yesterday, Mighty Clan Patriarch, uh, Consume Panchi died. We're now playing as Yasutaki Panchi. We're at war with, uh, turns out I had no idea how the war system works. It's, it's like Stellaris is basically all I know at this stage. And when war starts, it doesn't end until peace is declared. Not like CK2, you take the title 100%. That's basically where you get out of it. In this, you, you enforce whatever demands you feel are necessary. So if we get defeated entirely by these people, that's it. We're done. We're out of the game. They could take our entire domain in a single war. And if they defeat us decisively, that's it. We're fucking done. So... It also works in our favor, though, don't forget. It means that if we wanted to declare war on these guys, we would only need to just declare war. We don't need to fabricate claims on every shit in province, every shit in duchy. We just take the whole thing. So, let's see what we can do. I want to unify the north of Japan first. We've got to unify clan house clan, clan house tribe, and Wu-Tang. Um, and... <laughs> no, I can't. Oh, God, I can't look at it. Okay, let's just deal with what we've got, what we've got to deal with. But, I mean, do we have to educate our kid? I have no idea how that works. Um, are children just born skillful? They look like they are. Um, I assume there'll be childhood events, though. So who we got? We've got... There's, there's us, obviously. There's our our brother. Um, so there's our brother, uh, Tada, Tada Aki Panchi. And then our sister, Nue Panchi. Got it. Um, he's nine. He's already got, like, Bushi. Uh, just? Brave? Oh, shit. Okay, and then, right, so she has no traits, so I assume just when you, unlike CK2, it's just like aging up will will give you different traits or whatever. We'll see if there is a way to educate them, though, very quickly before I commit to that. Um, retire into a monastery. <laughs> um, no, it looks as if there isn't a way. Can I demand my nine-year-old brother to, to commit seppuku? No. Um, if he was more dishonorable. Okay, I'm going to do that the second we possibly can. Right, let's do it. Let's get out there. Let's win this war. Let's take as much as possible. So who are we at war with again? We're at war with Panda Express, right? So in theory, despite the fact they declared war on us, we could grab, if, as long as we siege down all these titles, we can flip it on them and take everything. I really actually like that system. I really wish there was a more Stellaris-style system in, in CK2 more than anything else. Right, okay. Let's wipe out the troops first and foremost, because the last thing we want is, again, them to get into our capital, siege everything down, and be done with it while we're off. Shit. While we're off fucking around. Um, oh, that's annoying. Look. You can't see the morale bar at a glance because the enemy troops are over the top. That's fine. We, we can see that we've clearly got that in the bag. All right. Let's be a little bit more careful. Um, let's, let's take this take this slowly because I don't want to accidentally... Well, I've had too many times in CK2 where I've been paying attention to the front lines and then some idiots got on a boat and sieged like after them. In fact, are there even boats? Uh, there are no boats. I've got the Japanese famously never invented boats. Um, they swim. They swim across that entire shore. Ninja for hire. Um, oh, you can change the ninja clan names. Interesting. Okay. Um, what should we, should we... I don't think we're quite big or powerful or influential enough to worry about rival ninja attacks. Um, 
I would still love to take a hostage from Honoru to kind of keep them locked down. Because we're quite obviously a massive target right now, given that we're isolated within their domain. So I think that is supposed to say Moon Moon, I think. Uh, I said it said Moon Moon. <laughs> oh, it's pretty good. Um... Burn out a random guild manufacturing. Oh, that's fucking horrible. Uh, cause a character in another court to lose honor. Oh, interesting. So you might be able to get them to seppuku themselves. Okay, cool. We want to take a character for another horse, uh, horse court hostage. And let's go ahead and grab, hopefully, one of the... What? what light mission. Uh, go. What? <laughs> uh, hello? Select mission? Did I not do this yesterday? Maybe you have to right-click. Hang on. Um, boom. Nothing. Fucking ninja, what are you doing? Uh... Take a character. Oh, so we can go there. We just can't go. Right, so anybody clan honorable is fine. Um, oh, look, we could steal. Oh, you can steal hostages from other people's courts who are in other courts. So we could steal the daughter of, of Panda Express Yoshiharu, which is obviously the guy we're at war with. Oh, that's quite cool. Um, I could see that honorable. Let's go and grab Norifusa then. Uh, do you want to hire the clan? Yeah, absolutely we do. Okay. And then we get the notification down here. We don't forget. That's the one thing I need to get into my head. That we don't just get event pop-ups in this. Because that would be far too easy. Said you have to pay attention down here. Alright. Where are my boys? Where are my boys? Let's watch out for these troops. Chase them down. Then we'll start sieging. I think we'll just start carpet sieging. Grab the whole thing. Uh. Oh, shit. A ninja clan you hired to you failed to take honorable Norafusa hostage. One of the ninja were captured. Oh, Christ. Does that mean they... So that's probably the equivalent of failing a plot and being caught in CK2, right? That could be a real problem. We might have just made enemies with uh, with Clan Honorabrew. I see you sneaking over there. I see you sneaking over there. So let's finish this one first. Then we'll kill their troops and then we'll come back again. Um, yeah, look, they're going for our capital shit. I, surely we can deal with this and get back before they, they have some food shortage. Maybe that is just a percentage chance to victory more than anything else. We've got food shortage again. Yeah, look, they're trying to take some of our land there. 76, 84, 92. Are we good? 100%? Defenders desert. What is that? Are we good then? Oh, you just... Oh, man. That's such a cool system that it just immediately becomes part of your domain. I actually really like that. Um, right. Revolt's possible. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Uh, restore order in the new part of Clan Pantry. Um, there we go. Okay, so that's down with it. Just took a little, little while to wake up. The issue with that is... Oh, they're soul-sing. Whoa. Well, hang on. Ring Ring's inviting us to a plot. Ring Ring Ashahara invites you to attack the Honorable Honorable Clan. Doing so will cost us 17... I would like to point out, any offensive content in this video game is, is added by the comment section at the request of the audience. Roland D2 Games, as an entity, does not affiliate itself with, with, with the degenerates in the comment section. Thank you. Uh, so, right, Ring Ring wants to... <laughs> I'm not going to do that. No, get out of here. It's kind of cool that other clans, though, that are completely outside of your realm can invite you to to basically help them out. That's quite interesting. Uh, please fuck off. Can I take back this province now? I really do like this system. Genuinely, just being able to immediately grab and annex provinces like that is, is absolutely nuts. At the risk of, obviously, re revolts. Oh, the one thing I want to check is religion. So we are allowed to join Shintoism. I want to join Buddhism. Because that's got the, the levy reinforcement rate. Like, 10%, 10%. What is it? This just gives, like, honor, doesn't it? Yeah. And then Christianity gives a tax modifier. Okay, how bang on is that? Um, Protestant religion also gives monthly on it. Okay, I guess it's better to join Shintoism than nothing right now. It's either that or we're basically missing out on the on the honor, right? So we might as well go for that. Okay, so we're doing pretty well. We've grabbed a province so far. Now we've just got to take back our own shit. We've grabbed a province, lost a province. But I, I mean, like I said, I'm not going to stop until... I'm not going to stop until Panda Express is wiped from this fucking earth. Absolutely disgraceful behavior there. He was hired by Panda Express Yoshiharu, a ninja clan that tried to damage faction relations. How they... Faction... There are factions? Uh, I had no idea. Faction relations. CK2 didn't even get decent factions for... I mean, ever. Uh, maybe... What does that mean by faction relations? Maybe that means... um. I don't know. We saw before that when, when we had a revolt on our hands that uh, it, it said like uh, one of the particular religious groups was rising up against us. So maybe it's something similar to that. Maybe they can damage faction relations between like us and... So relations between us and them. Okay. So you've got 51. Maybe it's if, if we take a Buddhist province, for example. I have no idea how this works. We'll work it out. Oh, okay. It's just, I don't know. I don't, I don't want faction relation means, but it's surely not an issue. Seeing as their ninjas got clapped. Oh, no. What? 
While Master of Arms Panchi Moka Mochahisa's attempts to restore order in Ryatsu only further agitated the rebellious farmers who responded by killing him. Yasutoki Panchi. Dead as dicks. I don't know if you heard that screaming. It was, it was very quiet. Um, man, that's a real shame. And can we invite people to our court? Because that'd be quite good. Or maybe we have to kidnap them with ninja and put them to work. Because I don't know what happens if, if we've got no like good candidates for that. Anyway, um, has it also got a percentage chance, or is it just... Oh, it's just a flat restore order. Okay, fair enough. So you want to put that back in Ryotsu, don't we? Okay, let's get back on with the sieging, then. Let's get back on with grabbing some promises. I can't but notice we've lost a lot of troops here, too. Oh, look! Paul! Paul, what the hell? He's just grabbed a load of land from me. Oh, he's also all with Panda Express, I see. So we're now in basically direct odds with... Did we just get... Did we just lose that? Wow. I didn't think we did. We need to end this war with them as soon as possible. Uh, Dan used a similar master around Panchi Munahide to restore order, but the rebellious farmer kidnapped him. You motherfucker. Um, for a year, we lose 15% tax. Uh, or they will kill. Yes, it's talking. My fucking... Wait. Oh, all right, sorry. We're, we're yes, Toki. Right, right. Mun they, they'll kill my man Munahide. No. His life is worth more to me than money. How dare you? Oh, my God. Is that Paul? Clan and Paul are going to take everything. Shit. Well, let's go here and let's just start siege and see if we can grab something else before this war ends. They've got 281 dudes. I'm sure we can I'm sure we can do more than that. Um, how do we assault them? That's the real question. Uh, is there a Oh, there's a button there. It's hidden below my bloody taskbar. Oh, I see. Um, well, I don't know exactly the right ratio for sieging quite yet. I'm not going to do it when we've only got 963, but maybe when we've got like a few thousand troops, I'll give that a go just to really test the water, see see how well it works. Uh, where are they then? I want to keep an eye on their troops. It, it's really weird to me that we've got full-blown fog of war like that, that we can just see the whole world. It really lets us plan things out a little bit better. Oh, loyalty, honor, obedience, and duty, self-sacrifice. Oh, bushy. Nice. That's pretty good. Um, wait. Oh, we need to actually gain the trait there, genius. Uh, video game? Uh, 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 there we are. <laughs> <laughs> that gives plus two martial. God knows what the hell martial actually correlates to in this game. Obviously, base get uh, CK2. It's it's uh, levy size and all sorts of various related modifiers and shit. In this one, I have no idea because your levy seem always seems to be that set 750. Might be retinue limit, perhaps. Uh, six out of seven. Oh, it absolutely is. There we are. Um, oh, easy difficulty. I should really take it off of easy difficulty as well. That's my bad. I completely forgot about that. Nice. There we are. Another promise to us. Um, let's see if we can move our boy over again. Uh, return to court. And let's get you second we can. Uh, recruit Ronin. Oh, are those going to be... Oh, in the in the province. I was going to say, are those going to be other retinue bands? Um, maybe more specialized retinue bands? That'd be pretty good. All right, well, we might try that out at some stage. Anyway, for the time being, obviously, we've got, we've got too much order to restore. Let's go ahead and get you improving village. I always need to stay on top of that. I'm going to stop you hiring Ninja as well. The ninja are good and give us a lot of options, but in wartime, I feel like there's, there's more important stuff we could do. Um, what are you doing right now? Uh, no, no, I don't want you hiring ninja. I want you to return to court, you prick. Right, expand guilds. Um, expand, I suppose, yeah, it's either expand guilds, though, which we haven't got ready the money to do. So descent or hire ninja. So some descent in house in Clan Paul. I think that could be a good idea, given that those guys are, are probably our direct competitor right now. That's it. Is that the capital? I believe that's their capital. Um... No, it's absolutely not. Where's your, where's your capital, pal? You uh, go to location? Oh, it's all the way up there. Right, because it's got the big banner. Oh, well, never mind. Uh, what does that mean, then? What does the smaller banner mean? Um, is that like a like a sub-clan, perhaps? It's clearly not the same dude who holds the massive... Uh, the, the, the main duchy tile. God knows. Oh, well. Um, is that the war over, then? Are we are we good? Yeah, war's over, because they've been annihilated. Clan Panchi came out of that okay. we got two other provinces there, which is quite nice. We've got to be very careful. So... I think we probably want to go slightly higher. Maybe take out House Tribe, House Clan. Start from there and head downwards. Restore order as we go. That way we're not going to be beset on all sides. Although, to be fair, if anybody can declare war from any location, we can't really rely on geography to protect us. The inhabitants of Gunma have rebelled and taken control of the province. Oh, fuck. G Gunma? Oh, right. That's not mine, though. G Gunma? Gunma? Dewa? Akumi? Amachi? Sawata? Ryosu? I have no idea what you're talking about. Um... <laughs> <laughs> no, I shouldn't pan around the map. It's too distracting. What have we got here? He who climbs Mount Fuji is a wise man. Who climbs it twice is a fool. Um, gain content or gain honor? Hmm. Okay. Uh, gain content, gain honor. Now, content, what was it? It gave us diplomacy but lowered intrigue, I believe. Um, 
No, I think we're fine as we are. Our stats are kind of nicely rounded, to be honest with you. I'm, I'm going to keep us how we are for the time being. I'm also going to make a conscious effort to actually drop the bloody troops in between war this time. That was kind of my kind of my failure last time. Uh, disband. And these are all retinue, right? So we don't need to actually disband those at all. They just have the, the, the money. Okay, so what are... What are going to be the differences between Ronin and, and our regular retinues? Because we can already hire infantry. Okay, well, let's see. Maybe they're just a more powerful version. I don't know. Um, what are you doing? You're restoring order. Is that like a revolt map mode? Diplomatic. Relationships. I hope there's nothing below that because I can't see it. Oh, there is. What is that? Fa oh, factions map mode right there. If I click that, that's not going to work though, is it? I actually can't click on that because it's below my taskbar. Good God, this fucking game. Um, leisure main menu, home province. Fine. Pro okay. Um, unfortunately, I can't really see much. Never mind. Well, I brought him home and there's no warning of rebellion. So I guess we'll start recruiting some running then. See what those guys do. So we've got our, we've got ourselves a free retinue there. So how's our marketplace doing? Oh, she's doing really well. Look at this. I really like this technique. Uh, 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 this, uh, this building style. It's kind of cool. Again, it does feel a lot more like a board game that you just have eight different levels that you progress through one at a time. It, 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 it's kind of a cool plan. How can you, uh, new technique. Okay, thank you. Five honor. Or, too much trouble. Defensive minus 50%? Holy shit. Now nah, we're good. I'll just take the free honor. Thank you. What the fuck is that decision? Hmm, do I want to lose 50% of my, my, ah. There we are. Uh, oh, wow. So they're like massive retinues instead. Oh, they come with their own commander? Oh, that actually could be really good. What's the downside though? I assume they're, they're way more expensive. They, they cost more in terms of flat gold, but if we could get multiple bands of those instead, our army would be huge. How much gold have we got? 403. Now, I want to build the... I want to use the guild manufactory first. So, let's go for the... Oh, man. What do you think? This is quite a difficult choice. Infantry shock, infantry fire, cavalry shock, cavalry fire. Gunsmith uh, produces 30 guns a month. I kind of like the idea of the theater, then collecting taxes just to try and help keep our gold afloat a bit more, because that would pay for these Ronin. So I might go for that. Um, Trust High Ninja 200% as well, so if we ever get around to using that a bit more usefully, that could come in quite handy. I'm going to do that, and then we can have our one dude just collecting taxes all the time. Let's go ahead and keep improving. Oh, we can't improve the village anymore. Why not? Does that cost gold? Um... Maybe it's because we're building... I, I bet it's because we're building the theater. Fine. In that case, now we'll collect the taxes. Oh, a marriage offer. I never even considered that. Um, Narumuni Opai. <laughs> uh, so, Naya Opai, his daughter, I would assume. Yeah, there we go. Wants to marry us. Um, but, of course, if we do that, we can't go to war with Clan Opai. Although, to be fair, Clan Opai are giving us a nice border against Clan Honor Brew. That wouldn't be too bad. They, they might be a good ally to, to have there because they would have to pass through... Sure. So what? what's she good at? Greedy, content, brave. But anyway, we get half her stats, so we're going to get four diplomacy and four intrigue. It's not fantastic, but it'll do. Now, it's whether or not we go for that. or I don't even know if there is, like, congenital traits in this. So genius, strong, etc., etc. Um, I'm going to accept that just for the time being because there's nothing better. Uh, and let's go through. I want to see if I can find, like, genius or something like that. I am genuinely surprised at how many traits are in this game that are in CK2 as well. So it looks like all the lifestyle traits are in, along with some other ones like D-Drinker and Go Master and shit like that. But the only one that could potentially be inheritable is, is Stutter. That's the only one I've seen so far. Oh, <gasps> look at what he just found. Irma Instant Noodles is a genius. Oh, that actually could be shit. I wonder if that is passed down. Oh, I'm going to have to go dig through the fucking game files now, aren't I? You know what? Let me get back to you on that one. Oh, it actually is inheritable. Genius congenital equals yes. Opposite to imbecile slow quick. Ah. Oh, okay. Damn. Oh, I've really missed out on that one. Right. So we know that we've got the eugenics game going as well. Ah. Oh, it's, like, it's like we're being right back at home. Okay. Let's get those Ronin hired too. This, this, this is what I want. A full army of dudes like this. Now, I want to check. What's our monthly balance right now? Um. So... Raised army maintenance. Ro oh, Ronin army maintenance. Right, zero right now. We'll see how much this one band of however many dudes will cost. Um, so you've got recruit running retinue. It's it's a thousand dudes with their own commander with ten marshal. Okay, let's go ahead and recruit them. And whenever it's done, that is a different man. That is a different man. Okay, and then we'll give it a little bit of uh, time to tick. Uh, Ronin. It's a whoa. <laughs> it's quite expensive. 
You gotta admit, that is quite expensive. Um, 11.5s, it's almost as... I mean, it's just over half the cost of our entire army. Um... Total raise 2,500. Yeah, so all of those are the retinue. And to be fair, though, we only had 1,500 retinue before. Hmm. In hindsight, they're about the same price then, aren't they? In fact, running, I think, are slightly cheaper. now. Because if it was 1,500 for 19 gold per month, we just had 1,000 dude for 11 gold per month. Okay, whatever. Um, they also don't seem to have taken up our retinue cap. Oh. Interesting. We might end up bankrupt in the round, but to be honest, as long as we're in positive gold, I don't really care. We've got a total army size of 7,702. Holy shit. Um, I have a creepy feeling I've always been watching Soda get on my nerves. I'm sure someone is to blame. We came paranoid. Uh, intrigue bonuses, I would assume? Uh, where, where is that? Paranoid? Intrigue plus two diplomacy minus one. I don't really want more intrigue. I, I don't think I'm good enough at this game at all yet to effectively use that or to know which of it is even worth using. Whether or not I should be capturing hostages from everybody on the face of the fucking planet or whether or not that would be dishonorable, which I think is probably a safe bet. So who do we want to go to war with next? Uh, House Owo, perhaps, because they're only a single province. House Faku. Um, it's only... Am I allowed to say that in a video? I feel like YouTube would pick up on that one, huh? Anyway. Uh... Or do we start all the way in the north? House tribe. They've only got, what, two provinces there? Oh, three provinces. What the hell is that? It's just not, not selected. Okay. Um, see what they've got then. Can I even declare war on any view diplomacy? Declare war? We can. 20, it's just 24 honor ago. Right, so as long as we make sure our honor is always at a decently high level. We've got 81 honor. Oh, okay. Wow. So we can more than afford a few wars here. Uh, you know what? I'm going to wipe these guys out. It's a shame we can't see their total army size, but I guess we can roughly estimate they've got, you know, a thousand men there. Probably field another... What have you got there? 757? Yeah, so, I mean, we're, we're going to be able to crush it. War were declared on House Tribe Clan. I love how many people basically came up with the same option. There was genuinely like House House, House House Clan, House Clan, Clan House Clan, House Tribe Clan, etc, etc. Everyone came up with the same fucking idea. So, there's probably going to be a load of those. Henshin, that sounds suspiciously regularly Japanese. So does Osamaru. How the hell has this happened? No way if some of these houses already gone extinct, it's like generated more. <laughs> a soul shade myths. So I didn't even cotton on to that when I added the fucking thing. Alright, um, are we actually are we actually at war? Whoa, well, that's a lot of red border. Is that Oh, it's all red borders. The game just has red borders. Jesus, I honestly thought I'd accidentally declared war on the whole of Japan. Um Right, war with Panchi, alright, there we are. Uh War with Faku, given hostage to Paul, classic. War with House Clan. You know, I think I think it's just us versus them right now. Let's go ahead and merge those guys. Do you want to raise our regular troops, or is it? I, I think it's somewhat unnecessary. Um, I mean, we're going to be passing through anyway. The, the question is whether or not the treasury can actually bear the expense. This is a lot. We got a lot of dudes right now. Got them high in the hills of House Paul. We found our enemy. Oh shit! Okay, come back here. Oh god damn! No movement speed bonus is going to kill me. We're genuinely going to be chasing armies halfway across the friggin' country at this stage. Right, where are you heading? So some of you are going that way. I don't think I can have Doomstacks anymore. We genuinely need to try and control the map a little bit better than I than I do in CK2. There we are. Got him. Okay. Nice work. Where are they heading to now, then? Uh, what could I see? Oh, okay. We'll arrive in. Ogachi, Ogachi, Ogachi. Uh, they're going to Hiai. Uh, Hi. All right, go that way. Uh, you come up here. Yeah, I think that's probably a safe bet. We can kind of catch them depending on wherever the hell they go to. I wanted to beat their troops first, just because... Oh, hello. Um, upon seeing the hardship of my farmers in Swata, my master of ceremonies is decided to be lenient when collecting the extra taxes. Um, I trust his judgment. Yeah, I think I do. I think I do. I think that's, that's, that's a rational thing. All right, fair enough. And um, besides, we're still in the positive, right? Still 2.8 gold per month, 263 sitting in the bank. So we need any more Ronin. We can definitely get it. Yeah, that was a good play. Bring those guys south. I'm going to keep these ones here, just in case they end up bouncing straight back over there again. And they have got a lot of troops in hindsight. That wasn't a bad idea. Getting as many as we did. Right, you head that way. Uh, let's get you guys to... Can you set move routes in this? Oh, you can. Incredible. Okay. Uh, they're heading up to Kazuno. We might be able to splinter attack here. Uh, are there impassable mountains? There are a few. Right, so you can't go between Clan Owo and Clan Faku there. Which is my favorite place to be between, to be honest. Owo and Faku. So, let's head through Owo. There we are. Okay, try and cut them off a little bit. They, they seem to uh, they seem to react a lot quicker than CK2 to your move route changes. That's the only downside. Mainly because I guess they can see the whole fucking map. Um, hello. Linear tax policy. Hard tax policy. Gives local revolt risk plus three, but tax modifier plus ten. What is that in our capital? I'm going to do that just because I think because of our theater, we're probably safe to do so. Right, chase them back down this way. We're going to grab them eventually. 
motherfuckers. There we are. Whoa. We did get wiped out, though. That was, that was a poor idea in hindsight. Revolt risk in the capital. Two. I will admit, chasing these armies around is kind of doing my fucking head in. I am not patient enough for this. <laughs> no current leader. How do I how do I change that? It won't let us... I don't know how to swap them out, to be honest with you. Um, no current leader. I don't know how to change that. Do I... Uh, defend army, defend army, split army. I don't know how to put... Look, no commander. Why, what the fuck do I do about that? Maybe they have to be... I was going to say maybe they have to be in friendly territory. They are. Um, I just have no idea how to sw swap it out. Wait, we can rename our armies. You can rename your fucking armies, but you can't rename your characters or your provinces. Brilliant. Um... <clears throat> uh, what the hell am I going to call my army? This is the only thing the game's letting me rename. This has got to be good. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, let's get this book of war done. We, we've taken a lot of unnecessary losses in my complete impatience here. Right, okay. Uh, I, okay, I think that's that's them wiped out. Not having any battle response as well is like really confusing sometimes. We could just potentially siege them down, I guess, and win it. If, especially if their troops are all the way up there. What do you think? Should we just, should we just go for it and see if we can beat them before they're even able to get their army back down south? Fuck it. 15% uh, war shortage, shortage already. Just blitz through. Just blitz through. Oh, are we able to hire more Ronin yet? I've still got my guy. Okay, I've still got my guy search Ronin. I guess they're just incredibly rare. Bear in mind, we've only seen this one band so far. We can only have one band at a time. Where was this? Building stuff. Fuck off. Building Shinto Shrine. Uh, I don't know if that actually gives us anything, though. Only an I initiate such projects. Shinto is faction upset. Right, so those are your factions then, I guess. Um, Shinto Relations 5. Modifier will be transferred to any of the characters' offspring. Oh, wow. Okay, like inheritable modifiers. This is what the CK2 doesn't have. I have my blessing. I guess it's to make up for the fact that there are no there are provincial modifiers that we've seen them. Oh well. Um, sure. I guess we don't really have much of a choice then, do we? Tax modifier minus ten percent. Okay, we're still collecting taxes. Not a, not a big deal. Ooh, hello. <laughs> um, I kind of noticed those guys that we allied with have been completely wiped out, and now there's a Shinto uprising. 13, that's definitely an uprising, isn't it? 13,500 troops. Gotta be a little bit careful with that one. We have almost wiped these dudes out, though. Just gotta take this last province and we're, we're basically done. Uh, stalling? What the hell does that mean? The attacker is too weak for the siege. Oh, because there's 3,200 defenders. Whoa. Um, wow, there's a lot of these uprisings. Jesus, we gotta be a little bit careful about this then. I genuinely thought that was, um, I, I genuinely thought that was something against us, but I guess that's where Clan Paul took all of the other guys that we were allied to. Um, it was at Clan Instant Noodle. I don't remember in hindsight. Uh, and and this is broken out response. If that's what we can expect, we need to be really freaking careful because there's no way in hell we can beat thirteen thousand dudes. Jesus. Um, I guess in that case we'll we'll back off here, and then drop our troops down this way instead. Wait, did they just raise their armies? Does that mean they haven't got as many defenders? Uh. I assume it was like CK2, the, the defenders actively, or, or, or unraised levies count as defenders. No, it's not. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, they have, they have less defenders now, but we still don't have enough. Oh, for fuck's sake, really? With 30 dudes off. God damn it. Okay. Um, Shinto rebels in Dua. Oh, God, this is getting a little bit messy, isn't it? Nothing to do with us, so I don't mind. Apparently, can raise a load more troops, though. Uh, we just had a bunch of levies kicking around. Oh, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Hang on. Uh, come back up here. Oh, there we are. Can, can we reinforce that? If you guys can give those a very wide berth, um, we have to go all the way through the central lands of, of Clan Paul. And then if we head up through House Tribe, there we are. I think we've got this one in the bag too. Man, the wars in this game are, are really rapid. The landscape changes so goddamn fast because of the complete lack of, like, claims, really. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> they can attack me. Oh, shit. Well, that changes everything. Um, uh, right, 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 right. Okay, don't, don't. We'll look at the retinue camp now, though. Um, retinues, do they need to reinforce? I think there was a retinue reinforcement, right? Wasn't there? Uh, I was going to say we'll just field some troops and go and clap them quickly. I can't believe we haven't found any other bloody Ronin either. Um, you expand the guilds in the capital. I'm going to call him back because really we've just had him wasting our time kicking him around for age when we could have been like, oh, hello. Uh, Paul Masakane is proposing that we exchange hostages. Sure, that's okay. I can't have a notice, but our revolts are getting very much out of hand. Uh, Christ, they are getting really out of hand. Is that because we've been at war for so long, perhaps? I have no idea what, why suddenly revolt's possible. Why? What, what's causing that to tick up? What was zero? Uh, okay, well, that one isn't actually a, What have we got, then? Ryotsu Akami. Everywhere but that one. 
Uh, why are you rebelling? Hang on. Revolt risk? Why? Controlling too many Cory. Oh, we're over at domain limit. Six out of five. Uh, okay. Got it, got it, got it. What else, what else is wrong with us? Um... 750 men, Shinta. Okay, right. So we've, we're just over our title limit. That's, that's essentially it. Cool. Um, who do we want to land then? I guess we just land anybody in our court. Uh, okay. I, I guess I'll dig up a decent court here. Oh, uh, if you just cut the grant title, it'll automatically show you who is basically worthy of being granted to. Okay, I'm going to give it to this guy. Tadaoki. He's got 14 diplomacy, 27 years of age. There you go. Uh... Giving you three honor, you lose personal control over it. But I assume, obviously, he'll stay our vassal. There we are. Kokushin of Dewa. Nice work. Okay. Um, your heir is not the heir of your clan. Okay. Uh, I mean, he is a panchi, though. So I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. What? Your heir is not the heir of your clan. Oh, our our child. Right, 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 right. right. Okay. Um, so we've got Panchi Yoshimitsu, who is proud. Okay. So we've got to make sure Panchi Yoshimitsu is the guy succeeding us, then. There we are. Okay. Let's split some troops off of this siege so we can go and kill that. So what they got? 1,500? Uh, give me like... Give me like... 18, oh, 1,800? That seems a bit risky. How many troops do we need minimum to keep the siege going though? Uh, 1,000... Okay, so like 1,400. Fine. We can spare a few more troops in that. Uh, who has these two units? So let's send them... 2,700, 20... Yeah, that should be more than sufficient, I think, for both of those. Do it. Okay, go put those guys down. I don't want to lose a province just completely randomly to uh, to an uprising. Or, no, never mind. Seriously? Okay, well, I'm just going to fucking take it back then, you pricks. Get out of here. You leave that alone, right now. I assume they're just random crappy farmers, so we can just grab it back. So we could also try and take that one back, but I'm not feeling... I will admit, I'm not feeling particularly comfortable fighting 13,500 very angry men. Super Saiyan Kagenobu invites you to play against the Honorable Clan. Um, how can I turn that man down? How could I turn that man down? I like the face pack variation, you know? I love how different all these characters look. That's really, it's really impressive work there. Jesus, the art department clearly took that day off. Okay, 15%. Uh, this is taking friggin' ages to capitulate this place. But look at their castle, though. They've got a fully upgraded castle. It's one thing I noticed grabbing this one as well. They've almost got a fully upgraded village. So, God, I mean, 720. I need to be spending some money here. I need to be spending some money here, Chief. Uh, build, what have we got? Spear maker, swordsmith, horse breeder, barracks, pottery. Uh, I'm going to go for retinue cap plus four. Re reinforcement speed plus 20%. Boom. Do it. Let's let's go all in on our on our upgrades here. So expand guilds there. Sure. Why not? What are you doing right now? So I to collect taxes. No, return him. I know we can only do one or the other. So I'm going to pull this guy back for now. You are in a Kabuto restaurant. So we need him out there. And then what well, can we improve village? Oh, because we're building up the fucking barracks. God, that's getting on my nerves. Every, every time it gets me. So according to the Shogun bar, Mario Mario is currently the most likely guy to become Shogun. Then we've got second place, Clan Franku. Third place, Clan Honorable. Fourth place, Clan Super Saiyan. And then, it's about, it's about wrong. And then fifth place, Clan Yellow Bear. I'm really annoyed that out of all of the clans that could be... It's just fucking terrible. All of those are bad Shogun names. Shogun Franku. Shogun Mario Mario. I'm not sure if I want any of those guys. Obviously, we want Shogun Panshi to win. But I assume when the Shogun up forms, it's not just an immediate game over for every other guy who didn't get to become it. I assume we can try and win over Shogun Franku. Give me them fucking Ronin. Give me those. I think I've got to do it. it. This place has been saying for so long, probably surrendered within 12 months. It's genuinely said that, that for the past six years, I think. I'm just going to hit the assault button and see what happens. You need a leader to be in... Okay, I don't know how to do that. The button doesn't do anything. Uh, it's got to be something I'm missing here. Um, oh, is it because they're retinues rather than... Can I reorganize it to put like a... I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea how to put a commander on there. Oh, well, there you go. That's how the education system works. You just pick one. Um, Master Ceremonies, Master Arms, Master Guards. I want martial characters. This, this whole game just seems to be one big constant war, which I guess is kind of appropriate for the period. But... Diplomacy, I don't know w what that does, to be honest with you. What is that? that? Are we still wounded? Did you just become permanently wounded? An intrigue as well. When we're hiring ninja, maybe it affects the success chance of that. Um, I really have no clue. Right, so we've got these guys. Oh, we actually have an army leader now. Oh. Should have trusted you to bring me on. There we are. Game one marshal. Cool. Um, can I just hit the assault button now, please? 
Just let me, just let me insult. I can't, I can't. Already insulting. There we are. Boom. Are we good? Did, did I do well? Oh, you can only assault up until the morale that you've got. Right, got it. Um, that's really frustrating because it's really probably failing your troops to take heavy casualties. This place has been, this is un, uh, unseizable. Hey, there we go. Turns out it's very much not unseizable. Give me that. Give me that. Defenders desert. Goodbye. Fuck off. Breach. Yep. Defenders desert. Yep. Boom. Boom. House Panchi has gained a foothold in the north. Incredible work. I, this is another thing I noticed as well. We've got House Miyagi Paul instead. Like they've had a, like a clan merge. Um, we got Futa, F F Futo, F Futata Otako seems to have. It's like really dynamic, really dynamic clan systems in this that I had no idea. Like the, the merge in there, I had no idea that was a mechanic. Okay. Um, House Honorable seems to have kind of fallen apart a little bit. I will admit. Mario, Mario are just absolutely dominating right now. Twenty percent. I don't think we're going to be able to beat them at the speed that they're moving here. Hang on a minute. We're apparently at war with... War with Pan Panchi? Oh my god. Tentacle Chan, Protag, Paul, Motherfucker, Tentacle, Bounce, Hornet, Super Saiyan. They're all with fucking everybody. They took a hostage from Moon Moon? <laughs> okay. Uh, well, if we're at war with Honorable Room, we've got all our troops basically heading back now. We'll just grab ourselves some free land in that case. Okay, we've got to be very careful about how these guys come back, though. Why don't we grab some land on the on the shore, then? That would help out quite a lot. We wouldn't have to worry about... I mean, we wouldn't have to worry about enemies completely surrounding us again like they were before. We saw that plotting finally paid off. Don't child in your court has... To... Oh, we got to marry off our daughter. Okay, Panchi Koa. Hello. Um, Proposing that we secure peace. Uh, Miyagi Paul. I mean, I could be tempted, seeing as I want to go for house clan next. Oh, whoa, what's this? Notice is your house clan. Okay, we could do that. Um, sure. I'll, I'll make, I'll make a, a, a sort of uneasy alliance with those guys instead. So, you then. I assume there is no matrilineal marriage in Japan at this stage. This guy's up for it. So, uh, who are you again? Uh, oh, these guys here. I mean, he's quite powerful. He's got a lot of titles. Leads the clan, one daimyo title. Um, is he the most powerful we've got? Can I sort by tier. Oh, wow. Look at this guy. 12 Mario Mario? Leader of Mario Mario will, is, is, wants to accept the marriage between Don? Don? Wow. We just married off our daughter to Mario Mario. Oh, it's the second wife. Second wife. That's a bit. Wait, first wife. You married Mario Mario Santa. I guess it's a distant, distant cousin. You know how things be. Okay. Um, right. I gave our muster of, of arms some land. Um... Kind of because I'm hoping it'll have some impact on the troops that he can raise. Really, I have no idea. Right, let's get these guys back to... I'm going to get you improving castles there and you're going to improve. We're just going to go ahead and max out the village in the capital to bring in the amount of gold that we need to keep kind of a massive army kicking around. New garden and nearly ruined my garden. I set for hours trying to paint what I saw, but the devastation that remains where there once was such beauty almost made me weep. Another source of inspiration or time to use my green fingers. I guess this will give you either gardener or painter then. Um... <laughs> I mean, what what are the difference? I need to go and look this up. I, I don't I don't know how any of your any of your strange traits work. P paint a calligrapher. Uh, what what the hell would be a garden? These are paradox traits. So good luck trying to work out what any of these fucking icons mean. Painting gives plus one diplomacy. Sure, let's go for it. I I have no idea that that's actually what that does, by the way. Right, so we have got a permanent standing army now of like five thousand two hundred dudes. That's really good. Um, that's really really good. Okay. What next? 7 out of 15 on our retinue size. I think House Clan have got to go. I think we're going to have a massive war against House Clan tomorrow. Take all of this shit. That, that, that'll give us a nice chunk of Japan. We grab all of this stuff. It's basically just keeping order. That's the main thing. So as long as we take it slow enough, it'll be fine. From there, we'll push down. We'll unify all of these crappy lot ones. Miyagi pours on the chopping block. Then we'll hold, like, that's got to be, what? A good 10% of Japan right there. If not more. And then we're a fifth of the way to victory. Let's... Leave it there for today. I, I kind of get how this game works now. It hasn't taken really long to, to pick up on it, but it's not massively deep. But again, it is very much just a... Uh, it's a gaming game. It's a gaming game. CK2, Mimi game. This is a gaming game where it's, it's very low scope, but it is just, I guess, you, if you were someone who was actually really into this game, might be, how fast can I? Can I, can I do it with a really small clan? How fast can I become the Shogun? Can I do it in these weird ways, etc., etc.? This is interesting. I, I like it. I feel like I wasted probably a lot of time not upgrading villages and not managing the council properly, but it's quite cool. 
It, it's it's very low scope, like I said, but tomorrow we're going to be, be full-blown war. I want to make some enemies of these clans, and we're going to put Mario Mario in their fucking place. Mark my words. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have enjoyed the adventures today of Yasutaki Panchi. How old is he? He's 45. Damn. We've come through so many years just today alone. I've got to be a bit more careful maybe about how we use our time so they don't just end up blitzing through a shitload of characters really, really fast. Because I assume there is a time limit to this game, as there are with most Paradox games. So I'd still want to be... We've got to become the Shogun. There's, there's, no op there's, there's no other option. Shogun, when we hit that, I'd say that's a victory for the campaign. And we've completed an entire Paradox game. How rarely can you say that? Yeah, I've, I've beaten an entire grand strategy game. Thank you to the insane top tier level patrons for making strange adventures like this possible in first place. Big shout out goes out to Olympia George, Zazzy711, Ninja Tree V, Crow Skull, Caden Carter, Justin Wallace, Chris, Chicken Wang HD, Vacuous Bacchus, Leo, Ben Hoffman, and everyone else at the insane tier levels on Patreon for making the channel possible in the first place, particularly over the last couple of months where things have been a lot more difficult on YouTube. Thank you to these guys. And a thank you as well to Jeebus Crust, Brittany Lee, Prometheo, Noobmeister, Hoopalia, Mr. Awesome, Deadly Kitten Hunt, Empty Machine, Dranmir, Grey, Zega the Chaos King, Ebon Dragon 323, Bokbin, Volta, and everyone else on Patreon as well. Thank you guys for your support. Thank you to everybody who threw me views to names. You should honestly just be completely ashamed.